morning, everybody. It is now 6 a.m. on this beautiful first day of medical school. I didn't sleep too well because I was just so excited for today to start, which will begin at 9.30 a.m. with a welcome from the deans. But first, let's go work out and have breakfast and get our morning started right. Now we're outside. It's super cool outside, which is something I really love about the morning. It's really quiet and just peaceful. I can get in my workout before I start my day. Got my outfit ready to go, so let's go for a run. Just finished the run, did two miles, got the heart rate going. Now we're going to work out, which with everything going on, we're just doing the home workout in my gym. Uh, my gym being set of dumbbells and a bench, which isn't too bad. I know some people don't actually have anything, so it's been nice to be able to keep kind of in shape. Here it is, dumbbells and the bench. That's my entire gym, so I'll get right into it. I usually work out with the garage door open because I like to have a little bit of sunlight and fresh air. I don't like being trapped up and cooped in this dingy old garage. And it's nice to say hi to the neighbors sometimes when they walk by. So let's get back into it. Make sure you always stretch first. All right, let's get started. So just finished the workout. I'm going to take a shower, quick shower, and then still got about two hours to kill before my orientation starts. So I'll probably work on a little bit of video editing in the meantime. Catch you then. So usually after I shower, I then have a protein shake, which I'm about to make now. This is actually my favorite part of the workout because I'm usually really thirsty after, and this is always a nice sweet treat to have. Now let's get started. So we just finished filming and we're about to start our first orientation event. Here's a little behind the scenes of today's filming set and I'll keep you posted with what's coming in orientation. Stay tuned. This is what the battle station is going to be looking like this semester as I take all my online courses. But for now, I got some kombucha and we're ready to start orientation. So hello, hello. It is August 10th and it is the first day of medical school and I just wanted to run you by my calendar really quickly. So at 9.30, we have a welcome from the deans. Uh, they're gonna be congratulating us, welcoming us into the program, and maybe giving us some basic insights into it. Uh, before 11 o'clock, where they're going to be uh, giving an overview of the entire program, and probably that will be a lot more in detail. Then at one o'clock, we have an introduction to MF1, which is uh, our first unit where we're going to be looking at respirology, uh, cardiology, as well as getting a general intro to medicine. And then at 2.30, some upper years are going to be giving us tips on how to navigate medical school online and some things that they've picked up in the few months that they've been online. And then lastly, after all the admin stuff is done, the orientation committee is putting on a speed meeting event at uh, seven o'clock tonight where we're going to be given an opportunity to meet a lot of our classmates. So we were having our first orientation meeting with the deans, but fortunately, I think they have another meeting in progress, so we all got kicked out. Welcome to online medical school. So we're taking a little break from orientation and we're playing Jackbox as an orientation class. So getting to know each other, you know, doing that camaraderie, already starting early. So we just finished our uh, Jackbox game, we're just chilling. And now we're going to hop into our next orientation event, which is going to be an overview of the entire program. Uh, as you can see, we're already getting to know each other, just talking, chatting, just doing some intros, like how we all got to McMaster and into the medicine program. And it's been, it's been really fun so far, and I'm really excited for the rest of the day. So here we just have our program overview where we're going over some high-level 
general things that we're going to be covering over the next three years of the medicine program at McMaster. And it's just nice getting a little insight into what we're going to be learning and what we're going to be doing in the next few years. So the dean right now is talking about a few of the attributes of strong learners that they're expecting us to get out of this program, including humility, confidence, participatory action, inquisitiveness, and of course, compassion. Because we are going to be doctors, we're going to be interacting with humans, we're going to be interacting with people every single day, and it'll help to understand and have a little bit of insight, a little bit of compassion. So we just finished a Zoom call with an overview of the program as a whole and uh, one of the deans gave a very inspiring story and it was really nice to hear about uh, the plans that they have in store for us with COVID as well. Uh, there's about an hour between this and the next call, which is an introduction to our first unit, as well as two of our core learning objectives, professional competencies, or how we should interact with patients and so forth, as well as anatomy. So in the meantime, I'm going to go read a little bit and then I'll see you then. So just finished reading, also took a short nap because I'm feeling a little bit tired, uh, but we're ready to hop into our next session, introduction to our first unit of medical school. Exciting! We just finished the overview of what it's going to be like for our first unit of medical school called MF1 and next in about 10 minutes we're going to be jumping right into some tips with upper years on how to be navigating medical school online and some things they've learned already in the uh, five months they've been online. So I'm super excited for that. I think that will probably be the most helpful thing because you know the first day of class is kind of just an orientation telling you what's going on and not that much information that you're too excited for, but I'm expecting this one to be a lot of fun. So I'm really excited. Some of the upper years are giving us some tips about how we can best succeed at Mac. They've gone through the experience themselves, so they know best. And I'm really excited to see what I can take away from this session. So we just finished the last orientation session run by the upper year students, answering some of our questions and giving us a lot of insight into how they've spent their time at Mac. And so far, the two most, uh, things, two most important things that resonated with me were firstly talking about imposter syndrome feeling like you don't really belong and that you just got there on a lucky fluke, which is definitely what it felt like for me when I got accepted. Uh, they told us that there were 5,000 people that applied and then about 200 of those people got in. And I just thought that there's no way it could have been me. There must be some mistake. They're gonna take away my acceptance at any time now. But they reassured us that we deserve to be there, that we didn't make it on a mistake and that we're going to be really successful along the way. Another thing they talked about that I really liked was finally being able to relax a little bit. Being in that pre-med mentality, you always think you got to jump onto the next project after you've done this one, and then you always have to be doing something in order to just keep up. Here, they said that once you're in med school, it's really about finding the things you're interested in. You don't have to do research just for the sake of doing research. You don't have to do things because you don't like them, but you have to. You can just find what you're interested in and what you're going to be doing and passionate about for the next few years. So that was really that was really nice and it was really nice to hear all those things from these upper year med students. And the rest of the day is going to be more social activities where I can get to know my classmates a little bit better. And I'm really looking forward to those too. Okay, so we're about to start at the final event for my first day of medical school. It's going to be a student run speed meeting event where we're probably going to be able to talk to and meet a lot of our fellow classmates, which unfortunately we couldn't do in person, but the orientation committee has really given us an opportunity to try at least meet people online and get better acquainted with who we're going to be spending the next three years with. So I spent the last hour with these amazing six people. Uh, as you can see, they're doing a heart because we've really gotten to know each other. And I feel really connected to this group already. Uh, they're gonna be my group for the first tutorial of the next 12 weeks. And I'm sure they want to stop doing the heart now, so... So we just finished our final event of the night, which was speed meeting. We got to meet some of our classmates in groups of four. We talked for three minutes before we got placed in a new group with different classmates. And we just got exposure to a lot of our peers that way. It was really cool because everyone came from such different backgrounds and everyone had a really cool story to tell about how they got into medicine. Now, it is 9 p.m. now and I'm really tired. 
more tired than I've been all summer. So I'm going to catch an early night's sleep, maybe do a little reading. And that's been your daily dose of Medi Sun. And I'll see you in the next video.